you're better than your mess. This is 44 Meticulous Organizing Tips to Reign in the Chaos by Peggy Wang, Melissa Maker, and tons of bloggers who are always expecting your visit. Number one, instead of stuffing your plastic bags into some sort of receptacle, fold them into tiny, neat triangles. Two, use shelf risers so you can keep two nice, neat tiers in any cubby-sized hole. Of course, your DVDs would be alphabetical. I made myself a plank of 33 centimeters by 15 centimeters and glued two Nanglingle candle lights beneath it. And ta-da, I got myself a nice DVD storage. Three, organize your magazine holders with ribbons and tags. Four, hang your shelves upside down so that the brackets automatically create built-in compartments. Stacks of shirts, folded linens, and other closet items often need help to keep from toppling into disarray. Wooden shelf brackets used as dividers do the job nicely. Linen Closer Bracket Prevent folded clothes and linens from toppling with wooden dividers. Number 5. Get a Purse Organizer The best way to stay organized on the go. Get this one for 26 bucks. There are 6 pockets in the front that includes 4 small mesh pockets. The rear contains 4 pockets that includes 2 big mesh pockets. You can fit in well over 30 items into this organizer. 6. Keep junk drawers neat with bins velcroed to the bottom. The velcro will keep the bins from moving around. 7. Hang an upcycled cereal box on the refrigerator to keep your menus and flyers in order. It's also a great place to keep coupons. A hanging file folder is another cute idea for recipes and such. With some heavy cardstock or light cardstock available at craft stores, pinking shears, grommets, and ribbon. You have your way to have this thing next week. Score the folding edge with several lines to make it flexible just the way most hanging folders in your office are. Thread a ribbon through the grommets as such, and done. Optional, stamp the cover or decorate it with some lace. Next, you'll have a new organizer for your bills, letters, coupons, and all the things you want or need to save that you hate lingering on your dining room table. Eight, use pan organizers both horizontally and vertically to maximize storage space in your kitchen cabinet. I'm so excited about the fact that pans can completely increase their life and become so much more accessible versus the traditional stack and stuff method. Even all those trays have a perfect place to call home. Price, under $14. Number nine, use wire CD racks to organize Tupperware lids. Double the storage capacity inside a cabinet by adding freestanding wire shelves. Measure cabinet interiors before heading to the home center or choose expandable shelves. Include riser-style inserts for small items such as spices or glassware. 10. A simple solution. Store even more in your cabinets by outfitting them with organizational inserts and accessories. Here, layers of adjustable door racks, rotating shelves, and pull-out racks allow the pantry to pack twice as much in a limited space. The organizational aids also make finding needed items a snap. 11. Make a coaster tray for designated glasses. Each person gets their own cup and coaster, and it's their job to clean their cup. Way better than a bunch of dirty cups ending up in the sink every night. Number 12. Use a pegboard to keep dishes neat. Outfit them with pegboard inserts, and you can customize them to your plate and bowl size. 13. Ingenious Island. Would a smidge of extra workspace be helpful? Here, a rollout cart. Tucked into the island to stay out of sight, yet remain easily accessible maximizes this kitchen's prep space. To allow the cart to blend perfectly with the island, its base was painted the same color as the island, and the top was outfitted with matching marble. 14. Find a place for pet gear. Keep pet areas contained and out of the way. This all-in-one pet station keeps the kitchen clutter-free by offering plenty of cabinet space for storing pet food, toys, and more. A sliding drawer beneath the cabinet was fitted for feeding bowls, which can be easily tucked away while entertaining. 15. Put all the stuff that would normally be cluttering up the front of your fridge on the inside of your cupboard instead. Just attach sheet metal to the inside of your cabinet door. Or discard expired cosmetics and prescription medicines. Then affix a sheet of pre-cut galvanized steel to the interior of a medicine cabinet with construction adhesive. Magnetic hooks can hold scissors and a mirror, and small plastic cups with magnetic bottoms corral small necessities, such as rubber bands and hair clips. 16. Use pipe straps from your local hardware store to make a cheap and easy utensil holder. Number 17. Use a utensil divider to store toothbrushes, instead of keeping them out in the open where they can get all germy. 18. 
replacing your weirdly sized shampoo and body wash bottles with uniform bottles will give an appearance of neatness. Just be sure to label what they are. 19. Mix and match these stackable Muji acrylic drawers for customizable makeup storage that's easily accessible. Muji sells them in assorted sizes. And the clear acrylic makes it easy to see everything that's there. 20. For your drawers, use thick sheets of poster board to create compartments for all your makeup needs. It'll cost you, like, $2 from the dollar store. 21. These dollar store stacking bins are the perfect size for bathroom cabinet organization. Be right back. Going to Dollar Tree. 22. A metal tiered caddy is a great way to organize bath toys or shower supplies, rather than keeping stuff littered around the rim of the bathtub. 23. Use doorknobs to hang up individual shower caddies for each member of your family. If you need more than shampoo and a bar of soap in the shower, here's how to provide space for all your vital beauty potions. Get a couple of those shelves that are designed to hang from a shower arm and hang them on cabinet knobs. Use number 8 by 32 hanger screws, $1, to screw the knobs into studs or drywall anchors. 24. Hang glasses and sunglasses on a chain suspended between two hooks. You'll be able to see them splayed out right in front of you. You could also hang them on a pants hanger. 25. An IKEA zipline curtain is a great way to organize scarves, socks, and tank tops. You can hang them up in dead spaces. 26. From Alyssa Maker. This is five bedroom decluttering tips. Quick and easy ideas, I assume. But don't buy my words. Keep this video playing and write your reaction on the comment area under this video. So five handy ways you can cut the clutter in your bedroom. It's easy for drawers to get cluttered and full of junk. That's why they're called junk drawers. Because let's face it, when they're closed, no one knows about the crowded horrors that lie within. The key to organized drawers is having individual spaces for similar items. And that doesn't necessarily mean running out and buying something from the store, but it does mean finding a creative way to keep everything in sight as soon as you open the drawer. First off, don't keep too much stuff in one drawer. The key indicator of a disorganized drawer is that you have to root around when you're looking for something. So avoid putting stuff in there that you should be putting somewhere else. Then organize the drawer contents so everything can be seen easily. You can use small containers or cans to keep all the small bits in one spot. I'm using some small gift boxes to help with this drawer and if you want to get really fancy, you can wrap them with wrapping paper or fabric. Keep horizontal surfaces as clear as possible. This goes for desks and dressers and night tables and any other furniture you might have in your bedroom. Visually, you want to keep your bedroom surfaces free from knick-knack overload because the less stuff you see in your room, the more calming and peaceful the room seems. Here's an interesting way to look at it. When I was younger, my mom had a rule that we could only keep three items on each piece of furniture in our bedroom. This included my desk. Trust me, it was difficult, but it made me realize early on that I should really keep only the things that I use most often out on display. Now, if that seems too limiting for you, you can up it to five or six or seven. Just pick a number that feels manageable for you and will also look really great on your dresser. Here's a super simple solution that you've no doubt heard before. Use storage bins to contain stuff that you need to keep, but you don't necessarily use on a regular basis. Storage bins keep stuff from cluttering everything else up. These bins are perfect for toys or books or wires or even seasonal clothing and accessories like we talked about in our bedroom closet cleaning video. You can even find simple cardboard boxes like these, which are only a couple of bucks and do a fine job at keeping items you don't want to throw out. But before you put anything into those storage bins, you're going to play a quick game of five second purge. Hold the item in your hand and you have five seconds to give yourself a compelling reason to hang on to something and have it take up space in your room and your life. It's a fun game and anyone can play. If you can't figure out why you should keep something, you're going to get rid of it. You'll give it to a friend or a local thrift store. You'll put it up on Craigslist or have a garage sale. The best part about doing this is the stuff that you end up getting rid of will actually be used by somebody else instead of sitting in a box, taking up expensive real estate 
in your room. You knew this one was coming and trust me, I know how difficult it can be when you're out shopping, but I wanted to share this method with you anyway. So when I go and I purchase something that will reside in my bedroom, I have a one in, one out policy and it's really simple. If you buy yourself a new shirt or a belt or a vase or a knickknack, if it's coming into the bedroom, there's an item that will be leaving the bedroom. That way, I always have the same amount of stuff in my bedroom at any given time. And of course, if you're doing this for the first time, you gotta declutter first, get down to that baseline, and then apply the one in, one out rule. 27, tackle spills in a snap. Meal prep can get messy, especially around the cooktop. Tucked next to the range, this slender pullout comes complete with a towel rack, which keeps linens and paper towels out of sight, but with an easy reach, should spills occur. 28. Behind closed doors. Give your kitchen a clean look by concealing the microwave. This microwave fits snugly into an empty cubby in the appliance garage. A handy slide back door keeps the appliance easily accessible without taking up a single inch of traffic space in the kitchen's main work zone. 29. Store dishes down low. Here, a drawer has been outfitted with pegboard inserts. The boards can be sized to fit existing drawers and the pegs can be adjusted to secure stacks of bowls and plates. Store dishes in low drawers near the sink or dishwasher to minimize overhead lifting and to make putting them away a snap. 30. Pullouts that please. Keep the space surrounding the cooktop clear. Here, pullouts on both sides of the range provide convenient storage for spices and cooking oils. The pullout shelves keep these essentials near eye level, making it easy for the cooks to find exactly what they need. The pullouts recess into a hearth-like surround for the appliance. 31. Single file. Keep water bottles within reach and in view by stacking them in magazine files. Rest the inexpensive organizers on their backs for quick grab-and-go access. Number 32. Gather loose lids. Use thrifty organizers to make over the chaotic space where you stash food storage containers. A wall file mounted to a cabinet door is an easy solution for separating plastic lids from bases. 33. Clutter cutter. Backsplashes are storage space waiting to happen. One strategy to put this space to work for pennies, add magnetized strips to one side of a finished board and secure it to the backsplash to hold knives. They're easy to grab and use as they are to put away. 34. Try tension rods. Rethink how you use tension curtain rods. Place rows of the affordable window treatment hardware inside a cabinet to keep plastic food container lids, baking sheets, or serving trays upright and organized. 35. Pantry Polish. Maximize the space in your pantry with labeled baskets in bright colors. Group individually wrapped snacks and breakfast essentials out of their boxes and in the bins to make mornings a breeze. 36. On a roll. Wheels take a standard kitchen cabinet to a new level. Roll it in when you need extra counter space or a set of specialized tools stored within. 37. Simple Solution. A simple pegboard is right at home in your kitchen, and the metal is a modern and industrial twist on the standard brown pegboard. This customizable solution works for pots and pans as well as spatulas and big spoons. Combine multiple sections to create a wall of organization. 38. Out of sight. Keep the mix of mismatched towels out of sight with an over-the-door storage unit. Get smart and make use of the backside of cabinet doors, as well as the insides for storage. 39. Hooked on order. Add hooks to the back of a shallow cabinet near the family entry to keep track of keys, umbrellas, bags, and anything else you might need as you head out the door. Screw in cup hooks are ideal for holding keys. Use removable adhesive back hooks for other items so you can change the arrangement and number of hooks when needed. 40. Island Oasis. Not all storage belongs behind closed doors. Make often used items easy to find and access when you outfit the food prep side of an island with affordable add ons. Bars for tea towels and paper towels, as well as a repurposed wire bin to house cutting boards and rolling pins. 41. Door prizes. Multiply the capacity of any cabinet when you add storage to the interior side of the door. Six shallow shelves fit neatly between this door and the interior shelves to offer space for single file lines of little luxuries and kitchen dry goods. Lips on each door shelf keep items from tumbling off. 42. Measuring up. Install hooks and labels on the inside of a cabinet door within your kitchen baking center so every measuring spoon and cup has its proper place. Add a conversion chart for good measure. 
43. Color coded towel tags. Your family and guests won't confuse their white towels if you color code them with hanging loops. Suspended from pegs, the towels will dry quickly and stay neat. And 44. Vertical towel rack. Walls and bathrooms are often underutilized. To make towels and washcloths handy for bathers, install a hotel style multi tiered rack on the wall next to the tub. That's it! See you again next week with more organizing ideas like this if nothing fails our plan. If you love a lesson you just learned, leave a like, share, or some wisdom using the comment area under this video. Subscribe if our channel is brand new to you. P.S. I can submit your video in this channel for free, but before that, please check our About tab first. And thanks for watching.